Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on the Spice Couch today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this FN2187, the Elite Series. This is obviously Finn in the Stormtrooper armour. So let's check him out. Again, there were many tags on this figure, although this one was the easiest of all of them to actually untag. It only took about five minutes. The others took so much more. So yes, again, heavy in the hand. Check that out. Decent casting of John Boyega's face and structure of his face. Let's see, like the pauldrons here. What kind of movement do we have on the arms? Yep, so you can do that. What's the, head? Is the head move? No. You can see he has his neck brace on so the head doesn't move. Uh -huh. That's one also. Legs. Yep, that's pretty decent. Let's just stand him there for a moment. Just slightly that way so I can actually be seen. Don't have to hug the line right all the time, John. <laughs> right, bonus content. We have two blasters and the helmet. So let's see. A little baby blaster and a bigger blaster. Can't remember the names of the blasters other than the DL44 and the other it was, the Z6 right baton. So there's one of the blasters. That's pretty good. I did like how they were done in The Force Awakens. They all look so sleek and modern with the, uh, the white, I guess it's plastic, I suppose, or what have you. So that's that one. Now, this other one, sellotape down. Much smaller blaster. There you go. Have a look at his helmet. I'll have to put him on the helmet, of course. So there we are. That's good detailing of that first order updated helmet. It's got the shape there. Ooh, watch out. Shape of that helmet, great. So let's see. Here you go. Time to go and be remasked. So, yes, you would never know he's a hero. Heroes come in the most unlikely forms and shapes and from equally unlikely places. There you go. Legend of Star Wars. Uh, by which I don't mean legends. I mean he's an absolutely brilliant character. My favourite in the entire saga. Fantastic in his outfit there. I do wonder if he will get captured and reprogrammed in episode 8 or 9. I'm sure he's going to have to don this armour again at some stage. Even if it's just to infiltrate. Now let's see. Let's have him trying on. Let's put his helmet on there. Yeah, see now I don't need to get a First Order Stormtrooper. So, ah, uh, yes, you can hold one, hold the big one. Uh, you can actually shoot straight now. <laughs> yes, so that's good. Yeah, and then the little one can go where? Oh, I thought there was an actual holster, there isn't. Maybe you can go on the other one. Yes, of course. Double gun action. After all, he was one hell of a shot, wasn't he? Not just with blasters, but in the um, the TIE Fighter, he was brilliant as the gunner there, and also on the Millennium Falcon. So I wonder if that's his force ability coming through that way. He picks things up very fast. Great with a blaster, of course. All that first order as simulation training, I expect. So, let's put his helmet back on for now, like so. Oop. So, yes, very nice indeed. Oops, it's going to fall over there. FN2187, submit your blaster for inspection. Yes, Captain. And who gave you permission to remove that helmet? Sorry, Captain. Report to my division at once. <laughs> and that was where his life changed. That was the point he decided he had to get out. 
and boy did he get out. So yes, FN2187, very nice. This is a um, exclusive for Star Wars Celebration 2016, you know, along with a 3PO and the R2D2. I decided I better round out my uh, exclusives and I'll get the FN2187. They sold out of 3PO's now, they had a few R2's and a couple of these ones. So I'm very glad I decided to get it, otherwise it would have been gone. Yes, indeed. Very happy with this. Don't know where I'm going to position this guy. Can't really have him with the bad guys, you know. Maybe with the others. I can have it. He can be um, Finn's twin brother, you know, FN2188. Wouldn't that be a twist if they came up against something like that in episode 8? His own twin brother is still a stormtrooper. Indeed. So let's see. Yes, that's very good. Very happy with that, guys. This wasn't on sale, of course. This was 1895. Again, that nice heavy premium feel that we've come to expect from uh, the Elite Series diecast figures. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.